the Long Haul Bombers arrived in San Diego for the latest home run derby on their stadium power tour. This would be the first matchup of the season between Team Mikan and Team Easton. This is the first time we've faced off with Easton. Uh, you know, they put up some big numbers this year, so it should be a good show for the fans. Both of these teams could use a big bump today as they currently trail Team Elite in overall team score. But on the individual side of things, everyone is afraid of the unstoppable Denny Kryan. But I'm just happy to be here with Denny Kryan. He's the wizard of this thing. Well, I think Denny could have skipped today and it wouldn't matter because he's already in the finals. He's absolutely, you know, he's a model of consistency. He's went out every weekend, 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11. So he's just putting up those consistent numbers. And, you know, I've been doing this a long, long time, and that's going to put you in the finals every time. Both teams are also fighting to have both of their hitters qualify for the Stadium Power Tour Finals, where they will be competing for a 2009 customized Viper motorcycle. There she is, folks. Talk about sweet. The fans were fired up, and so were the Major League Baseball players. One of these players used to play with Denny Krein in the minors. Scott, you played minor league with Denny Krein, a.k.a. DC to you. What was that like? A long time ago, and I just walked up, and I looked at, I saw the name on the back. It's like, Krein. And I started talking to a guy here, and he said, Dennis, I'm like, whoa. And I looked at him and saw his face. I haven't seen him since we played together in the minors. It's, it's, it's fun. He's a lot bigger than he was when I played with him, too. So he said he eats a lot of pasta now. <laughs> it certainly would seem that way, wouldn't it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Let's get right to the home runs. Today's first batter was Team Easton's Brett Helmer. Helmer led the tour for much of the season, but had recently dropped to the number three spot. Uh, came up a little short in uh, in Washington, so I need to put up a decent number here, you know. Now, I always ask you, how many do you want to hit? How many do you want to hit today? I want to hit all of them. Helmer took little time to get back in the saddle. He crushed nine home runs with his 15 pitches to get the show started. Nine, nine's right in the hunt, you know what I mean? Eight, eight to ten is really good and consistent. Um, I feel fine, you know, we got one more event. I'm right in the mix here, so I need to get down to... Uh, we're up to Toronto, so uh, looking forward to that next week and uh, go in there and do the same thing, eight or nine again, and should be fine. Next up was Team Mikan's Gino Buck. Gino, we haven't had an event in a while that you participated in. How do you feel about today? I feel pretty good. Uh, I've been swinging and hitting the ball really well. I feel great coming into the event. Do you think you can hit that building over there? Well, if I pull the ball, I'm not a pull hitter. My, my alley's left center, so I don't think I'm going to go near it, but if I do, I might get into one. You think you could try? I don't want to try. <laughs> I ain't going to change my swing. This would be Gino's last chance of the regular season to make his claim to a spot in the Stadium Power Tour Finals. Gino, you had a solid seven points today. Uh, I feel good about this outcome. Uh, I wish I could have put up a few more uh, um, home runs there, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm happy with it. Not bad, but this would most likely be Gino's farewell performance. You had some really long home runs today. I felt good. A couple of those felt good also, but I just just missed it. I, I didn't spin the ball right. I didn't hit it right. But, uh, oh well. We'll move on. Easton had the lead. Then there was Team Easton's Brian Wegman. A little bit of pressure built up to the last two weeks. Me and Helmer haven't done real well, so we got two events to pick it up. How do you get yourself pumped up before these events? I try not to get pumped up, so I get excited. I get you seem a little mellow today. Front, yeah. Yeah. I figured that out about Cincinnati. I'm like, just relax. Mellow out? Yeah. Okay, good. So don't think, relax, mm -hmm. and then just hit really hard. Exactly. Wegman seemed to only take his own advice half of the time because he, too, hit out only about half of his pitches, finishing with seven home runs. Uh, no excuses. That's why I, we're sitting down in the green room trying to think of excuses why I stunk, but no. Well, you didn't stink. Seven points, that's great. Uh, seven, seven will work. So I got my work cut out for me next week to stay in the top four. We'll see how it goes. The final batter was Team Mikan's Denny Krein. Could Krein live up to the hype surrounding him for today's event? Krein had been hitting so well this season that he would only need to hit out two or three and still be able to qualify for the finals. But Krein wasn't doing this for himself. He was doing it for Team Mikan. He decided to crank out a ridiculous 11 home runs. And just for fun, after hitting a couple onto the Western Metal Building, he decided to go the extra mile and hit one bomb on top. On top top. This guy is one sick hitter. Let me ask you this. Do you have something out for that building or somebody uh, who lives in that building? No. <laughs> it's, I saw Halsey hit it up on top last year, so I was trying to 
trying to see if I can get it up there. You know, Halsey hits it a lot farther than I do, but I was trying, so got one up there, so it's fun. It's a little far out to the left center, 401 to the left center, so I figured right down the line might be a little bit better for me. Well, you certainly did a good job today. Congratulations on being the winner. Thank you. Appreciate it. That was amazing. I, I mean, I've played here with the Giants in, in Petco, Petco Park for, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 games. I've never seen anybody hit a ball on top of the Western Metal Supply Company, and he did with a softball bat, so. That's right, Major League guy. You might make more money, but Denny Krein hits a lot more home runs. Home runs on top of giant buildings, I might add. What'd you think of the show, the entire show? Uh, you get When you get guys that don't come out, like I don't go out to the bullpen until the second inning of the game. So when you get guys, big, big league guys that want to come out and watch this, I got to see the first time, excuse me, in San Francisco, where they talked about the only person to go into the water is Barry Bonds. Well, these guys did it on a, on a oh, yeah. you know, I think it was Helmers. Mm -hmm. He did it a bunch of times. You just stand in the dugout and you're like a little kid going, wow, yeah, and watch yeah. it. So it's, it's pretty fun to watch. Here are the standings after today's event in San Diego. With just two stops left, things are down to the wire for Team Mizuno, Team Elite, and Team Easton. Who will win the Manufacturer's Cup? And who, oh who, will win that sweet, sweet chopper?